Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. Today you guys are going to be getting ready with me for a bridal shower. But before we start getting ready, I did want to talk about the jewelry that I will be wearing today. And it is Ana Luisa Jewelry. I am currently wearing their letter necklace, which is so simple and dainty and I love it. I'm also wearing their aura bracelet, which is something that is very different from what I usually wear. But it honestly goes with every single outfit. It also comes with extra links, so then you're able to adjust it to your size with each piece of jewelry that you purchase they will come individually packaged in a beautiful Ana Luisa pouch just like the pieces that I'm wearing Ana Luisa jewelry is high quality and very versatile their pieces range from 39 US dollars to higher end pieces and there is something for everyone Ana Luisa jewelry makes gift giving easier for that special person in your life whether that be a family member, a friend, or a loved one, there is a gift for them for every special occasion. They have earrings, necklaces, bracelets, body jewelry, and even accessories such as jewelry cases and jewelry cleaners. Ana Luisa Jewelry is a sustainable jewelry company from being carbon neutral to their packaging being made from 100% recycled paper. In 2021, Ana Luisa Jewelry became a certified climate neutral company. We love a company that cares for our planet. So if you are interested in Ana Luisa's contribution to sustainability from their jewelry to their journeys and what they do for our planet, they have that all on their website. And you will find it under their main menu under sustainability if you guys are interested in Ana Luisa jewelry I will have their website linked in the description as well as my discount code which is sell meets world 10 now let's start getting ready okay so first thing is first this time it's not coffee it's going to be reacting because my skin especially like my upper lip it's been a little crazy a little itchy it gets red sometimes because i guess i've just scratched at it a little too much that i've got like little scars there so i've got to get that settled So I was going to do my makeup in the washroom, but since Renee is sleeping, uh, the lighting in the washroom isn't actually the greatest. We have like yellow light, which I actually want to fix and get like white lights, but I'm going to bring my makeup over to the living room, bring a mirror over and just do my makeup in the living room. Okay, so obviously I'm going to be doing just like a very simple look. It's kind of like my everyday makeup, but with lashes because that's basically all I ever do. But my eye bags, I feel like right now it looks worse on camera than what it actually is. Like I swear it's not this bad in person, but just looking at it through the camera, it looks pretty bad so we need to fix that with the charlotte tilbury um color corrector so i'm gonna go in with the first i don't use this like every day because it's not that necessary with my everyday makeup look i feel like i don't mind having like a bit of um flaws just because it just looks more natural than having like full glam or I just don't want to look that cakey. I'm gonna go in with some concealer now. This is the Merit one. Love their concealer. It's really just the only thing that I have right now. I don't use foundation just because I don't like the feeling of foundation so really all i ever do is just cover up my eye bags and that's about it my dark circles because they're just hideous but yeah look you can already see a difference so now i'm gonna set it with the laura mercier setting powder i don't ever actually like bake my face because honestly i don't know how 
So now I'm still kind of contemplating if I want to wear my lashes today or if I should just go with mascara. Still thinking about it. I'm not quite sure, but the mascara that I usually use is the Merit one. The Merit one. But I'm basically like all out of it. Like it's very dry. So I bought the Lancome mascara. Ooh, I like the packaging. It's really cute. Curl my lashes a little bit. And let's see if I'm going to like this mascara. Oh, I poked my eye. That made a pretty big difference already, but BRB because my eye is tearing up because I poked my eye with the brush. If I'm being completely honest with myself, I am probably going to be wearing lashes today. That's probably what I'm going to do. I'm just thinking a little too hard about it and i'm stressing about it and i don't need to i swear my eyebrows are looking darker on camera than they actually are in person i swear they don't look like they're this dark i don't know today's lashes from glamnetic is going to be living this is more of a natural like lash look it's not so glam and that is okay because i feel like glam lashes like look a little too much for me but i just need something to like make my lashes look a little bit more full and it really just does not take much so i'm going to go with this set but of course before i put them on i need to Put the eyeliner on now i'm ready to put on these lashes these are honestly like by far my favorite like lash brand they're just so easy to use i would honestly recommend them to anyone who hates using strip lashes like with glue because it can be a tough one There you go. Simple yet full. Yet it makes like a difference, you know? lashes done and no mess whatsoever that's what i like about a glamnetic so moving on to contouring my face i'm going in with merit again that's all that i put on my face that's it and i'm going to use their brush to blend out and whatever product is on the brush i kind of just like to go underneath and just kind of connect around and then with a smaller brush i'm going to contour my nose sometimes when the contour line seems a little too harsh and sharp i kind of just like to use my finger and kind of like dab on the spots that seem a little harsh so it blends out nicer listen i'm not like a makeup guru so i just do what i can with what i have and kind of just go with it my nose is done and i'm going to go in with some highlighter this is the dose of colors desi xk chasing the sun i've had this for a long time this is actually like my favorite highlighter of all time okay so now i'm gonna go back with the mascara and i'm going to apply some mascara on my lower lashes do you guys ever just put 
as you're on and somehow just make the weirdest face of all time because i do you know what i forgot to do before putting mascara on my lower lashes setting spray and lastly i'm just going to go in with this lipstick lip balm from nars i i don't know where i got this i think this was part of the birthday gift from last year i think i don't know but i feel like it is but it is actually currently my favorite lip balm so here is the makeup look it's just very simple i didn't want to do anything that's like over the top i feel like it's just the lashes that would make it very over the top if i chose another set but i'm really liking the set and they just look very natural so my curls right now are actually day two curls i can never get these types of curls whenever i curl my hair the day of and i don't know why but these are my day two curls these are the curls that i like to have whenever i decide to curl my hair and really all i would have to do right now is just touch up anything that needs to be touched up which isn't really like a lot and i don't know i just like doing my hair the day before or the night before i should say just because it makes my life a little easier the day of and i don't have to like stress out about my hair or spend a lot of time doing my hair either because i kind of just like having an easy morning and just making my life just a little simple that's pretty much it that's all i actually just have to touch up i'm basically done and now i'm just going to give myself some dry shampoo i'm gonna use the batiste one this is just like a travel sized one it was actually a gift i wonder what that person was trying to say about my hair i'm actually gonna go in with this dry shampoo as well because it's supposed to volumize my hair too and it's in like powder form Before I actually put my dress on, I do want to put on some jewelry because there is no way that I'm going to be wearing my Apple Watch to the bridal shower. Although I would like to count my calories because I'm in a competition right now. But today I'm going to be using my Ana Luisa Aura bracelet. It's honestly so stunning. It's giving me like watch vibes, but it's not a watch. It's a bracelet. So because I have such a simple outfit, I really do think that this bracelet will judge up my outfit a little bit and give it some life. It's honestly so cute stunning stunning i'm also going to be wearing my anna luisa necklace it's my alphabet necklace and it has uh, the letter r on it it's so cute it's just very simple very dainty and i think i'm actually gonna have renee put it on for me because i always struggle with putting on necklaces because of my long nails thank you there you go okay yeah Look how cute it is. Okay, so I woke Renee up just to put my necklace on and he's legit fast asleep, so I gotta be really quiet getting my dress. Okay, so I actually don't have that much time left, but my dress is wrinkly. 
So now I gotta steam it. I actually won't be wearing a bra, but instead, I'm going to be wearing these nipple covers from Shein. I've worn them once already and they're cleaned. And I think it would just make everything look more seamless if I didn't wear a bra and I just wore these uh, covers instead. So here you guys have it. This is the outfit. I feel like I should have went for the longer version of this dress just because it is a little too short up at the front which I feel like I should have known because it's the mini Saturn dress so I it's it's my fault but this dress is cute I really love this like front part over here which can hide my belly once I'm done eating and I'm full from eating tacos but it's really really cute but now I have to figure out what shoes I'm gonna be wearing here are the options I have my white tiki's which are well very much used but this is option number one option number two are these Zara slippers they are rubber I believe but I bought these just in case the tiki's didn't go with the dress so I'm gonna try them on for you and you guys let me know which one looks better honestly I was so close to taking the tags off of the Zara slippers but luckily I didn't because they aren't as cute as I thought they were so those are definitely gonna be returned and I am going to be getting my $40 back my outfit would not be complete without a purse duh so I'm going to throw it back to my very first designer bag which is my gucci bag just like what i thought this gucci wallet on chain was gonna go well with this dress it also goes well with my jewelry even though it has silver hardware but because this is a neutral bag i think it goes well together but what do you guys think I don't know if I had already mentioned, but I am one of the bridesmaids, so I do have my duties for this bridal shower. So, I do have some of the prizes. These are the alcohol prizes. I also have the pens for the games. I also have tissue paper because we are going to be bagging the prizes. And I'm pretty sure you guys can guess what one of the games are. So now that I'm ready, I'm going to be leaving you guys here and I'm about to head to the bridal shower. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Again, if you guys are interested in Ana Luisa Jewelry, I have their link in my description. I also have my discount code there for you, which is a Cell Meets World 10. That is all in the description. If you guys enjoyed this video, give this video a thumbs up. Comment down below if you guys are attending a wedding this summer or even just this year. Maybe you have already attended a wedding, but let me know in the description. And if you guys haven't already subscribed, go do that right now. And we will see you in the next video. Bye, guys.